Good evening everybody, I am Jeremy and welcome back to my channel. This evening I'm going to show you how to make a Cadbury chocolate banana bread. Well, I'm going to show you how to make two Cadbury chocolate banana breads. It freezes so well that it's a bit of a waste to make just one. So this evening I'm going to show you how to make two Cadbury chocolate banana breads. I'm going to start by preheating my oven. So I've turned my oven up to 180 degrees Celsius and I've put on the top and the bottom element. And I'm going to start by chopping up the chocolate. So for these two breads, I've used two slabs of dairy milk chocolate, Cadbury's, 80 gram slabs. I was gonna show you how to chop them up. So you want to use a big knife like this, otherwise it becomes quite difficult. So I'm not cutting them as small as choc chips would be because I would like pieces of chocolate in my mixture. You could probably use a dark chocolate if you like or any other chocolate, but I like a milk chocolate and I like the sweetness it adds to this banana bread. And I'm just going to set that aside for when I need it later on. So the next thing to do is to mash your bananas. Now, if you look at my bananas, you can see that they are quite ripe and they are quite big. So I'm using six big and very ripe bananas. If the bananas are not ripe enough, then your banana bread will not be a good texture. If they're not big enough, then your banana bread will be just like a cake and it won't have the right texture either. And they need to be ripe. They can even be browner than this. So you're not gonna throw any of these brown spots away. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna mash it on the side. And once it's mashed, I'm just gonna put it at the bottom and then mash the next one on the side. Now to the mashed bananas, I'm going to add 150 grams of melted butter. and I'm going to mix it well. Once you've combined the banana and the butter, then everything can just go in in any order and you're just going to mix it. So I'm going to start by sifting three cups of flour along with two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. So I'm just adding my bicarbonate of soda to the last cup of flour. To that, I'll add one cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and I'm just going to mix this a little bit. And I'm going to add two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla essence. And I'm just going to mix it. Now, the only reason I mixed it slightly before adding the vanilla was because I didn't want to throw the vanilla into flour because it might make a vanilla clump. So in hindsight, I should have thrown the vanilla and the egg into the wet mixture before sifting in all the dry ingredients. Now, once it is just mixed like that, we'll add all the chocolate. And we'll just mix it a little bit more. You want to mix this as little as possible. And then we're going to put it into two bread pans. Now these are very small bread pans and um, you don't need to line them, but if you've ever had a bread or a cake stick, then like me, you will line everything. So you can see I've only lined the middle and it is non-stick while it's meant to be. So I'm not going to even oil the sides. I'll be able to lift it out when it's done. Then it goes into the oven for between 50 minutes and an hour, depending on your bananas. If your bananas were very ripe, it will probably take about an hour because then it'll be a bit softer. If your bananas were relatively ripe, it'll take about 50 minutes. So we're going to put it into the oven for between 50 minutes to an hour. So it's been 50 minutes and it certainly looks done. So to test whether it's done, take a toothpick and put it in the middle. If it comes out clean, 
then it's finished. So the banana breads are done and I should just be able to lift them out but I'm not taking any chances. So I'm just going to make sure they are loose on the sides with a knife. And they actually aren't so I'm glad I did this. And there you have them, two banana breads, and you can see the bits of Cadbury chocolate in there. And the good news is that it looks like that on the inside as well. Now, unfortunately, I cannot cut them yet. They need to stay for a while. They need to sit for about 20 minutes before you can cut them. Um, but then we're going to have tea. So thank you very much for joining me again this evening. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you enjoyed the recipe, please like the recipe. And if you enjoyed my other recipes, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on, all the, to turn on the notification tab so that you can get all the notifications. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.